Hello family, welcome back to the channel, home of the RC community and home of the Patreon that offers the most value out there. If y'all interested in the Patreon or the merch, the links will be in the description and in the comments. So uh, look y'all, um, we're looking uh, strong, okay, uh, on the market uh, and we're looking strong, um, we're looking strong on the, uh, the charts. When we look at the charts, uh, we did have uh, you know, a uh, big sell-off yesterday, but right after that, we uh, also had uh, some heavy buying action, all right? Now, I was pointing this out in, in a lot of my videos, and I told y'all every time we have these uh, big sales like this, we always have a uh, heavy buying action or, you know, some steady uh, buying action that kind of, uh, uh, you know, that kind of evens out uh, with the sales and stuff like that. So, as you can see over here, uh, we had some small consolidation before some sales and it looks like okay that uh, we're having some consolidation here so this is a good trend uh, to see right here and like I said uh, this project right here will not let it, itself get down okay it won't let itself get down uh, but so low and then we can see that trend right here okay so if we look at the trend all right uh, if we look at the trend here look at this trend right here look how it is staying okay uh upwards okay so this is what you want to see this is what we like to see an upwards trend and we really haven't had a uh a downtrend uh since we had the big sell-off back on uh june uh 30th all right which was the biggest sell-off it was bigger than uh the one that we had right here on july the 5th all right but ever since then we've kind of been trending upwards so this is what we like to see and uh like i said every time we have one of these um Every time we have some selling action, what we have is we always have some uh, buying action. We always have some rebounding uh, buying action. So this is a uh, this is actually a a uh, good thing uh, to see right here. Now, as we can see, the price action says uh, uh, two zeros uh, three one, uh, and that is actually good compared to uh, what the market is. So if we go to the market, okay, uh, we go to coin market cap, and we can kind of look at uh the overall market now we know that um we actually know that uh saitama is not properly ranked or the numbers is not uh updated on uh coin market cap uh not sure now I, I understand why they can get um i understand like look when we go back here i can understand why they cannot properly rank like over here like the actual rankings now you do see the rankings moving some but uh, ranking uh, to uh, 84 is actually not uh, a 28 um, 2843 is not the properly rank we know that's not the uh, proper rank now I understand this right here why they cannot properly rank uh, these project the, the projects like this but when it comes to the price action they should at least be able to get the price action uh, right because if we come over here uh, we're at it's actually at 2031 uh seven seven all right so when we go over here the rank is not uh proper all right but uh if we look at the market all right if we look at the market uh the market is actually believe it or not the market is still down okay when you see these increases right here all right uh this does not mean that the market is is up uh, uh the thing is this right here when we see uh the markets uh up in the green it only stays like that for a certain amount of time and even still it does not really have that much of an effect uh, on the price action even now as bitcoin hits uh uh 20k uh even th even though even though bitcoin hits 20k it'll be right back down to 19k later on in the day uh, and so will Ethereum uh, be under uh, 11K because these are kind of like their little fluctuation points. So when we look at the market, okay, uh, overall, uh, Saitama is actually still outperforming the market. And we know that uh, when Bitcoin is down, uh, we, we know that when Bitcoin is down like in the 20 to 19K range, the fluctuating range, Okay, say Tom is not supposed to be here. Say Tom is, is in the uh, the 31, and now as you can see, they just uh, went up into uh, the 32. So I'm glad that happened right here on this video. So as we can see, uh, we had a uh, a decent buy right here. All right, so we had some fluctuation, and y'all know I just pointed this out right here. I, I just said that um you know it'd be good if we had some fluctuation in a in a uh, a big spike up. All right, so this is what I like. So when we zoom out 
you know the project is continuing uh, on the up now what I would want to see here all right uh, if we do not have okay if we do not have a uh, what I want to see here is if we do not have a a a sale down which is we, we could have something uh, if, if not something like this we could have something like what you see here all right because th these seem to be more of the trend uh, like over here this sale and then this sale right here so we can continue to have something small okay um and continue to consolidate and, and continue to get these green spikes right here uh, that would actually be a good thing and like i said when you zoom out and you look at the overall picture uh because we've been having more uh, uh green spikes than uh red spikes okay that has allowed us to continue to head upwards okay so what that tells me is that the the good is far outweighing the bad okay very seldom do we have uh, situations like these cells that you see here all right very seldom now we went to a kind of a rocky road uh, back here uh, back in uh, June the 24th all right um, and let me see that from June the 24th to June the 30th it was kind of a rocky road okay uh, but ever since then we've been consolidating and then we've had more fight and remember this back here was you know a little bit uh, you know I think this was still close to when a lot of the bigger wallets were getting their airdrops and uh, you already know when we get the a lot of those bigger wallets that we're holding uh, you know they were waiting to get their v2 so they can sell off so this is what we did right here this is what all of this came from uh, which was a, a individuals right uh, ridding themselves of uh, holdings that they held on to in v1 because these were uh, individuals that wanted to get out of the project uh, anyway, and I told y'all also I said, uh, you know, don't worry about that uh, Because you know also these all-time highs like this is not the norm. Okay, it's not the norm uh, For to be up here at these kind of all-time highs. So uh, I told individuals I said look let them rid themselves let them rid themselves of the project uh, and stuff like that uh, but y'all will see some stability and that's what we're seeing right here y'all will see stability as a lot of the uh, more uh, airdrop holders come in uh, and those individuals are holding so we we actually have more holders now than uh, sellers and okay and you can see that in the chart uh, say Tama like I said is still continuing uh, to trend upward so that's a good thing that like I said this is saying that the that the uh, the good is far outweighing the bad and that's what you always want to see uh, but like I said we're going to see uh, what comes of uh, like I said we're going to see okay what comes of this situation right here because uh, this was some good consolidation and we also had a good counter uh, positive um, green uh, candle all right so uh, this is what you want to see right here the, the, the chart is looking uh, strong we are kind of slow on the holders uh, this morning but like I said I still think they're game planning it and they're amping up for uh, you know a, another uh airdrop some more airdrops that are going to be coming out okay so we'll keep our eye on that and um, i want to make this video and uh remember y'all every now will be history tomorrow and you have patience in this crypto investing space or losing the end you don't want to be a loser this is my video and i will catch y'all on the up and up